The Clinical Simulation Center is a clinical environment at the University of Michigan, really for training. It allows physicians, surgeons, nurses, staff to train on new techniques and new technologies before they go into the clinical environment. It's really helpful um, for um, the learners to be able to have this sort of safe environment. You know, no time constraints, no patient safety constraints. Um, you really have the time to, to kind of learn these new skills appropriately without interfering with, with patient care. We're very excited that we're expanding into a new space in MedSci 2. We are small as far as a clinical simulation center compared to the size of the health system. So this new expansion will really provide the additional facilities that we need to provide the training. That'll more than double our space. Right now we're about 6,000 square feet. We're going to expand into an additional 7,500 square feet with five inpatient rooms, including an ER room, an ICU room, a delivery room, and two adult hospital rooms. The new space really offers a compelling clinical environment. It looks just like the real thing, so it allows the participants to actually train in the real environment. Just like our pilot colleagues, when they step into a simulator, they expect to see the switches where the switches are. Uh, we expect the same thing. We want the glove box in the right place and the oxygen uh, tank to be in the right place and the suction to be in the right place and those kind of things so we can actually do the real environment, do the real training uh, like we would in the clinical space. So for years, students, we sit in a classroom and we're just kind of talked to and, and lectured at. There might be a PowerPoint presentation, but this is really a new way of thinking about how we learn as adults. I just think this is a really um, exciting time uh, for uh, being able to meet the, the needs of our learners of the future. We're incredibly excited uh, to be able to expand simulation into a new space, to be able to provide new types of simulation, uh, both as the technology expands, but now we have this new space. This new expansion will really provide a whole host of opportunities to expand simulation through the health system.